So in this review, I am reviewing the Mattel Star Wars Disney Darth Vader basic plushie. Now, yes, I did take a look at the Scar Scarlet Witch one yesterday and the Leonardo one from Mutant Mayhem last week. So in this week, we are looking at, I mean, in today's review, or... I mean, I am putting this on my uh, 3rd August unboxing, so compilation, so yeah. Um, here he is without the tags on. And I will tell you guys before I end the video on how I got into Star Wars when I was like a little kid. So anyway, uh, before um, I show you guys what he looks like without the tags on, pretty nice detail. And he got a little leather on him like leather gloves and boots so let's go ahead and take the tag like the little hanger off him the little uh plastic thing and the tag so we'll be right back okay guys so here he is without the little hanger thing that he hangs on and here he is with out the tag on. Pretty cool picture. I might probably display this after the video. Now, here is my origin story on how I got into Star Wars. Before they were owned by Disney. Now, um, the very first Star Wars film I watched when I was little was the 2008 Clone Wars movie that was by Warner Brothers for some reason because I thought Fox would have made the movie. But I think in the Clone Wars movie, the one that's based on the show, a few months after the the movie came out in theaters, is on Disney Plus. I don't know. I will have to look again. And the very first character who I liked when I was a little kid was Darth Vader. Why? I mean, look at him. He's like. Kind of reminds me of Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, but he used to be a good guy named Anakin Skywalker, and joined the dark side, and that's how he became Darth Vader. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So we're doing another plush review. Now, yes, I did do one on the Darth Vader one the other day, but this one is not gonna be for a plush skit. Cause I already got a bleacher creature for of uh, Black Panther. So yep, uh this is for Mattel. And uh let me just put it out here. So this is what he looks like. And they also just came out with a new one, like, not that long ago. And he, they added, like, this fabric, uh, thing to, like, the fabric, um, stuff on it, which is pretty cool. So, here's the little hanger and the tag from Mattel. So let's go take let's go ahead and take the tags obviously what he looks like without the tags on. So here we go. Alright guys. So here he is without the tag on. So yeah here he looks here he is without the tags on. So uh yep this is just to be a quick review quick review but anyway guys if you guys like comment subscribe Hey guys, I am back with another review video, and happy Tuesday. So, yes, we are reviewing the Marvel Star Wars basic Bubba Fett plush. Uh, I got this for Walgreens, the same way like I got the Black Panther and the um, Darth Vader one. But some of y'all have been wondering, how did I actually get the Scarlet Witch one? I actually bought it for Walmart, like, I want to say like five days ago about five days ago yeah about five days ago uh there were like nine dollars and ninety seven cents at walmart 
One of the plushies at Walgreens was like $4.99. Again, I don't remember. So anyway, here he is. To me, he looks like a stormtrooper. Again, I, and I don't know. But let's go ahead and take the tags off of him and see what he looks like without the tags on. Okay, guys. So I took the tags off of him, including the little hanger thing. And yes, um... Here's the tag. It's just like the, um... Darth Vader one we did a review on a few days ago. So, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so... Yep, it's finally here. I got this from a website called fun.com. Um, I thought it would be, like, a bad website, but I heard good reviews about this website. Uh, I thought I was supposed to get this by the 17th, but no. I actually got this today in the mail by USPS. Um, I was originally just going to, supposed to get this order a few days ago on the 11th, which was, like, four days ago, but I never did, so, anyway, uh, still trying to, like, uh, you know, be away, because I just woke up not that long ago, but, anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this, shall we? Oh, wait, I thought I paused it for a second. Okay, guys, so here is Nesco out of the box. Um, I'm surprised they didn't even put her in a bag. That's what Amazon did with uh, Tondra when I unboxed Tondra a few days ago. But, yep, uh, here she is. Uh, she got her little bamboo thing on. Pretty likeness from the character. But anyway, let's go ahead and take the same tag you already saw on um, Tan Tondro off her and see what she looks like without the tag on. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so here she is without the tag on, tag on I mean. Sorry if I mispronounced tag. Uh, so, the review for this is going to be 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe.